Hi everyone, welcome to Metal King Studio. Uh, this is the new Bone Construct miniature from the Bone and Darkness expansion for Relic Blade. Um, it is by far the most complex model I have in production right now, and so I wanted to put together a quick video about how to actually assemble this figure because it's a lot of pieces and when you get it and open it and it's just a big pile of bones, it's pretty intimidating. So why don't we get started? The first thing we need to do is clip all of the pieces off of these tabs and sprues. And to do that we use sprue cutters. These are um, a really important tool for when you're working with metal miniatures or any miniatures and I highly recommend picking these up. You can get them on Amazon pretty cheap and uh, they're really a super important tool. Um, the first thing you want to do is really get off all of the tabs. So this one on the top upper body comes off really easily. It's a very uh, light connection there but some of the other pieces you really have to clip off. Uh, there are four legs, two left and two right legs, and so you've got to clip all of those off as well. And uh, you also need to clip the arm and jaw off of the sprue there. So we'll be back after I cut all these. With all the parts cut off, um, you want to go through each piece and look for any little bits of um, venting that might have come off or mold lines and clear those off. Um, you also want to make sure on this lower body, you can see there's two pelvises there um, and like robes or rags hanging down. You want to do your best to make sure it's flat there because that's going to be where we connect it to the base. But this is all of the pieces. We've got four legs, an arm, a jawbone, and two parts of the body. So the first thing is to connect the lower body to the base. Just a drip of super glue. and then connect this. I recommend sort of aligning it farther back on the base and centered. There we go. So that's step one. Assemble the uh, lower body, glue that to the base. That will give us a good strong foundation for gluing all the other pieces to it. Step two is going to be attaching the legs into the sockets. And so the femurs just attach right into the pelvis and the feet attach to the base. So that takes some doing, so I'm gonna quickly do that. Okay, so phase one is complete. We've got the legs all glued into the pelvis. And you can see it's pretty spidery in design. We've got uh, two pelvises lashed together with a whole bunch of uh, legs coming off of there. And so uh, it takes some, some careful work to get it all assembled properly, but it's definitely a very dynamic uh, little mess of bones and evil construction once you get it in place. So this is step two. Step one, uh, glue the lower body on. Step two, get those legs on. And then we've got the upper body for step three. Step three, we'll do the upper body. Um, we've got the heads up here, an arm, and a jawbone. And so the jawbone affixes to the top of the head. It's kind of like a um, halo effect. We've got the upper jaw and it actually locks on pretty good. Fits in there pretty good so um, it doesn't take too much work to get that stuck in. And then uh, before we attach the arm I'd attach the upper body to the lower body. And there are two holes uh, where these lock in, but you'll want to try and dry fit it first. Make sure you've got a pretty good fit. You may need to um, clean out some of the metal that might be in there or um, 
work around it a little bit to make sure the fit is just right. Bit of super glue. Get that fit on there. Then the last step is going to be to put the arm on. Just stick some super glue in the ball socket. We've got the ball joint there with the arm, this reaping claw, and you can position it any way you want. You can have it up in an attack position, down below, kind of forward, praying mantis. I think I'm going to put this one low. My other one's up high, so I'll put this one low. There we go, look at that. So we went from a pile of um, loose metal bones into a big old bone construct. And your Dark Wanderer will thank you for the uh, extra work you put in putting him together. Thanks for checking out this video. If you wanna learn a little bit about uh, how I go about painting my models, you can watch my um, how to paint miniatures videos. If you wanna learn about how I actually uh, sculpt my models in ZBrush. I've got uh, video content available for that as well. And as always, thank you for watching.